Hello folks, many of you suggested that I check out Bonifacio Global City and it's been on my list for quite a while but I finally made it here and today we're checking out one of the top attractions to visit in the area which is the Venice Grand Canal Mall as you see just behind me. Bonifacio Global City, or for short BGC, is a central business district located in the city of Taguig that lies within the national capital region of Metro Manila. In the past, the region of BGC was utilized as a military base to house the US Army during the American occupation, which began in 1898 following the defeat of the Spaniards in the Spanish-American War. During this time, the region was renamed Fort William McKinley after the 25th President of the United States of America. Once the Philippines claimed their independence from the Americans with the Treaty of Manila in 1946, the land was handed back to the Philippine government in 1949 to then later house the Filipino army in 1957 when it was renamed from Fort McKinley to Fort Bonifacio. It wasn't until the 90s that Fort Bonifacio was once again turned over but this time to make way for the development of a highly urbanized city that we know today as BGC. As part of the city plan, approximately 50 hectares were allocated for an area that is known as McKinley Hill, which is a mixture of low and high rise residential and commercial buildings, as well as the Venice Grand Canal Mall we're checking out in today's video. All right, first impression folks, I am really impressed by the scale and the beauty of this mall. You know, I thought it would be kind of like a very small canal, maybe a couple meters long, but it seems to go all the way around and in that direction over there. And they've done a very good job replicating monuments from Venice. That bridge over there, which you see is very famous in Italy. It's called the Rialto Bridge. And just in front of me, we've also got the Campanile Bell Tower at St. Mark's Square. If you're new to the channel, I've been to Venice before. And so this is how I know these places. And I can see the design cues that they've taken from Venice. And Venice is one of my favorite cities in all of Europe. As a kid, I used to dream about this city, mainly because of the way it's set up with the canals, etc. But it was also featured in a lot of video games like Tomb Raider. So uh, yeah, I knew about Venice from a really young age. What's crazy is you occasionally see airplanes flying really low over the mall as well. There must be an airport near here that I'm not aware of. Now the canal by which this mall has been designed after is the Grand Canal in Venice as suggested in the name. And they've got gondolas going up and down, which I believe you can get for 500 peso. 500 peso is about maybe eight pounds, eight to 12 pounds, maybe 15 USD. To get a gondola in Venice, it would take you back 80 euros for every 30 minutes. Yeah, it's a massive price difference. And uh, I actually avoided getting a gondola in Venice because of that crazy price. But I think I'll catch a ride here. And it's not only the canal, it's also the buildings in which the shops are housed. And they've got this really Italian style facade that just adds to the overall experience as if you were in Italy. Before we go around and explore more of this amazing mall, I'm gonna head into Starbucks and get myself a coffee and a little snack so I can quickly resume showing you guys this mall. Wow, the coffee's all right, good, good, good. All right, so to get here from Binondo, where we're currently staying, uh, Google Maps was telling us it will take about an hour and a half to drive here. And we were having a few difficulties trying to book a grab taxi. Uh, and the reason is, is because drivers don't want to drive all the way here. It's really far from Binondo. But uh, we luckily managed to find a driver who was willing to do it. And Grab was quoting us about 580 peso. We, we gave him a thousand. That's okay. Take it. Yeah. Thank you. So, you know, the man's got to make a living. All right, so it's just underneath this side of the Rialto Bridge. That, hello, doggy that um, you can get one of these gondolas. But take a look at this queue. I don't even know where it starts. <laughs> where does the queue start? Hello, sir. How many people are in line? Oh, you don't know? Yeah, okay, no worries, that's fine. <laughs> how long have you guys been waiting? 30 minutes. That's a long time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll have to miss that one. Then. Thank you.
what makes this pier really beautiful is these Christmas lights that they've got drooping down from the Rialto Bridge. It really does give it a romantic ambience. Bonjour! Que pasta? Well, folks, I've learned two things. One, the price of the gondolas is actually 250 pesos per person for every 15 minutes. So if me and my girlfriend were to get on one, it would be 500 pesos for every 15 minutes. And two, this place is actually pet friendly. So you can bring your dog here and possibly go on the gondola. I wish I had Dala with me, my husky. He would love this place. Oh, you're the guys who were on the gondola, right? How was it? How was it? Good? Yeah, yeah, I was like waving at you guys and filming you. Good, we were lost. We were lost for a moment. Lost? Why? Well, was, we were oh, you mean like daydreaming, yeah? Oh, you yeah. felt like you were really in Venice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take care. We've now proceeded to coming into the aircon portion of this shopping mall. Uh, which you've got an entrance right by the Rialto Bridge and the side we're on seems to have this really nice mosaic on the roof similar to what you would see in chapels and basilicas actually I think this is a reference to Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute all right we're gonna proceed to getting some ice cream from Dairy Queen because I think we need to cool down a little bit These actually do feel like balconies that you would see along the canals of Venice, but uh, they're too wide. Usually in Venice, there'll be a lot more narrow. Space is a luxury in that city due to the complex network of waterways that they've got going on there. Me and my girlfriend are just discussing about this Venice Grand Shopping Mall. And the thing about this place is it's just so beautiful. You could spend all day looking at this mall and not get bored. Especially with the gondolas and the canal, it's just so fun to hang around outside. Usually when it's hot, I wouldn't want to be out, but you got it, you got it. All right, folks, I think I'm going to be wrapping up today's video. Well, I don't think I would still be here to take in the view at night, but look at it. It's stunning. And there's still a little bit of light in the sky because the sun probably just set a few minutes ago. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed today's video, of this wonderful Venice inspired shopping mall. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video and share this video with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here in the Philippines. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye for now. Yeah. Uh, Pinonda? Too far? No, we don't want to go to Binondo. We're going to have a hard time trying to get a taxi to Binondo. Hello! Binondo? Can do, yeah? <laughs> Brilliant.